Hello everybody. Today on Cole's Hello. channel. Today what we're doing on Cole's channel, however our intro goes, yeah. we're at the Sea Life Museum in Honolulu. No. Stop. <laughs> I mean Sea Life Park, not museum. Yeah. In Wamanalo. Welcome to Sea Life Park, Hawaii. Yeah, this right here yeah, is not a very good way to teach children to throw away waste. <laughs> we are in line right now. We are almost inside. Hooray! <laughs> Where's that door? Authorized staff only. Are there holes? What's through the holes? Do you see that thing? That right there. Right there. Do you see that black blob? Shark. That's a shark. That's a shark. That's a shark. That's art, I feel guys. like I wanted to look like. This. What is that? Who's eating their fingers? Don't. Eat fingers. Okay. Fish in the shape of fingers. This is just, this is nothing but cursed. And this. Caution. Wet floor. Hammerhead. It's over there. Hammerhead. Hammerhead. Look, Marcy. Cool. It's a real shark, not very deep. There's baby fish. There's one right there. There's baby fish, so you see. The fish are smoking. That's not good for them. I think we found Nemo. What happened? Please do not touch or tap with them. This part is boring, so uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to talk about sharks. So these sharks, they're actually sleeping because they're most active in the day. They're not dead or anything like that, so yeah. Woo! Cannibal, you can't do that. You can't eat, uh, you can't eat the yellow fishes. You can't do that. Oh, you're not eating one. You're just, you, that's your fin. Sorry. Banana ah. <laughs> Yeah, there's caution. Caution, don't eat too many bananas. That was an interesting room. <laughs> turtles? Where are the turtle sisses? Oh, turtle. so big. Turtle! Turtle! The turtles! Look at this turtle. Three D C, interactive marine life experience. Entrance on other side. Oh, there are people feeding the turtles. Wait, is that a turtle? I can't tell. Nope, that's a rock cluster. Not a turtle. A pipe. Oh, there's a turtle. Let's try that again. Can you spy the turtle? Nope, that's a rock. Can't stand up there. The lady. Nope, said. that's a pie. 
You found a turtle. Okay, Mama's back. Food. Food menu. Do not sit. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's a valid reason why not to. Right, let's see if we can catch it jump. I'm recording. How did you see the dolphin jump? Oh! Where are they? I don't see them. They are right Whoa! Wait, the, this entire video might just be watching dolphins jump. <laughs> Stop. I see. Hi, there's two of them. Oh, I just saw They're playing with their toys. They're doing dolphin things. Oh, look at that cute seabird I'm recording. Uh, How did I get in a weird rock tunnel? I don't know. But look at that cute seabird. It's a giant. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> 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 Making this fish out of the way. Oh, she left. Oh, I don't want to be in the dance. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. That's all right. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. This one's coming to take it. Look at mine again. They're gonna fight. Oh, they're gonna fight. Because you lost the bird. Do you want to be picked up next? Uh, okay. The bird! There you go! Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> As you can see, the little boy in the wild. And there's a Marcy poo poo. You're a poo poo. She's not having fun. Wait guys, I don't know what that is. It's like a photo pickup place. And this is not the right way, it's blocked off. So we're just waiting on them. Let's go wait in the shade. Rooster. Rooster. Are you a booster? Rooster. Can you give me a cooster? Rooster. Do you have a booster? Rooster. <laughs> Hello, we are about to do baby shark feeding. If anything, we can go back to the show that we do from our regular ones, and we're actually going to invite all of you up on the stage to get a chance to watch these animals eating up close. Now, since we have a larger group today, we're going to divide you guys into about three different sections, but don't worry, everyone's going to get a chance to see the sharks eat. So if it's not your group's designated time to come up, just hang tight until we've dismissed everyone from the previous group off the stage. All right, so we're going to start with the first three rows of our audience. If you want to come up here and watch the shark feet, you'll line up at the fence along the front of the exhibit. You can see slowly through that gate that's on the right-hand side. Now, for those of you arriving a little bit later to the higher, once again, just hang tight. Wait until it's your turn to come up onto the scene. 
As you proceed up onto the stage, please hang on to the hand railing that's located on the right hand side of the stairs. That way we can ensure that everyone makes it up on the stage safely. Once you are on stage, you can head down this way towards me. And you're going to mind that red line that's around the outside of the exhibit. We need to keep all fingers, our sharks, we have Aaron. Now, the exhibit you're looking at has four of our juvenile male white tip reef sharks. These boys are in their preteen stage of life. They range in age from around five to seven years old. And they're actually the offspring of two of our larger sharks that are in the reef tank, Lucy and Buttercup. So majority of the sharks here at Sea Life Park are actually mothered by those two sharks. Now part of our job every day when we come in is to prepare the food for all of the animals in our care and that of course excludes our sharks as well as our sea turtles and our reef fish. Now these boys are getting offered a variety of restaurant quality seafood every single day here at Sea Life Park. Today they're getting squid, capelin, as well as herring and shrimp. And just like us, these boys can have preferences on the things that they like to eat. Whereas some are going to be more particular about the things that they choose to eat off that PVC pole. Other sharks are going to eat anything that enters the water. Now, you, like I said before, you'll notice that Erin is feeding them, not with her hands, but with that white PVC pole. And we do this for all of the sharks in our care here at Sea Life Park. What we do is something called target feeding, which is what it sounds like. We pick out an individual target to feed, and when they come by, we offer them a piece of food. So we're always thinking about what shark we're going to feed next and what we're going to be offering them. Since we've been able to get to know these sharks, we typically know what they are going to eat and that also determines when we're going to be feeding the sharks and what we're going to try to give them throughout the day. If we know a shark never wants to eat squid, we likely won't try to feed them squid unless they refuse everything else. Now we like to do target feeding here at Sea Life Park because of several reasons. The first most important reason is it keeps us safe and it keeps the animals safe. We're not associating our presence with the opportunity to get food. Instead, we're associating it with that white PVC pole. And these boys know it's not meal time unless that PVC pole is in the water. We do get in the exhibit with all of our animals to do maintenance check on them. And we're able to be next to them and swim around with them because they're not going to assume just because we're there that they're going to get something to eat. All right, group number one, I'm going to have you head back down the stairs. If we could clear a space so group number one can exit comfortably, that would be fantastic. And one thing that would, they would naturally to be eating in that environment. Now, as these boys come around and we're target feeding with them, we do, of course, have to be able to tell each individual shark apart. And that's how we're able to record what they're eating. Because we want to make sure that all of the sharks in our care have an equal opportunity to eat and we're also feeding them in relation to their activity level, their age, their size. We take all those factors into account when our animals need to be fed. So that way we're not overfeeding the sharks that have low activity levels, we're not underfeeding the sharks that have high activity levels, and a shark is able to eat regardless of its behavior. And some animals are more cautious than others. Other animals are going to be the first one that gets to that pole. They want to be the first one to take that bite of food regardless of what it is, regardless of who's in their way. But some of the animals are really shy and really skittish and really cautious. They're going to wait until they have a smooth, clear opportunity where they can go and scope it out, make sure that no one else is going to bother them after they grab that piece of food. And we want to make sure that those animals get as much to eat as the other ones do. Out in the ocean, it's survival of the fittest, but when animals are under human care, we can ensure that all our animals are fit and all our animals not only survive, but also thrive. So, after the sharks are in here, we have four of them, of course, and they're all around the same age. So we're not going to be looking necessarily at the size of the shark in order to tell them apart. What we like to use to tell these sharks apart are three main species. These are going to be spots, Stripes and coloration. Now, spots on a white tree are actually really cool. Spots are completely unique to the individual. They can be big and lots and small and uniform. And perhaps the easiest ones to spot are the ones that are on that white tip of their dorsal fin. They're kind of like little shark beauty marks. 
What's really cool is out in the ocean, they've actually been able to identify a great sea life gift shop. I don't know where the great came from, but oh, it's closed. Where? It was closed. Thank you guys so much for coming out to 
never talked to a Disneyland participation today. However, don't miss your next lecture. We do have our Penguin lecture coming up down the walkway. And our final 3.30 Dolphin Lagoon channel. Mahalo. All right. Well, unfortunately, it's time to say goodbye. So what we're all going to do, we're going to throw our chakras high over there on the count of three. We're going to say one final aloha. Ready? One, two, three. Hey guys, uh, that, that, all good journeys must come to an end. So that's all for today. I'm not that today. Goodbye. Loud music in three, two, one.